We are live. Oh, everything's on the left hand side. Is that weird? Hello, everybody. Did you share this, Andy? I your... did. All right. I, I shared it all over, too. I think it's early, especially out here on the coast. It's really early to, um, uh, you know, we're still doing stuff, the beach and all of that. Go get your drink. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, you're good? <laughs> yeah, I, I already took a quick drink of my Gatorade on you, so you were like no i can't i can't move <laughs> the camera's on me oh um we have a viewer yep. i have uh so many great things hey cheryl i have so many great things today hi um oh gosh elizabeth hello how are you first timer great we got we got a great show. Uh, can you do that? Is it okay? Are you going to get sued? And I said it's for entertainment purposes only, but it's good. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Um, we should tease it a little. We're teasing it a little bit, you guys. We have a really fun thing that we're going to play with you, and um, it's <laughs> hopefully it'll make everybody really laugh because I think it's a lot of fun. We have some crazy stuff. Uh, Andy, are you going to go post the pictures of the spooky yes. stuff that we have encountered? We've got some crazy stories, guys. We've um, encountered a lot of uh, weird things this week, you know, supernatural, snatch, supernatural. And we went ahead and got pictures of some of this stuff. So it's really going to blow your mind when you guys find out about what happened. And Andy's, because we're not familiar yet with this the software of this program we're using. We're going to go ahead and just post them in Psychic Fix's fan page for you guys. We're going to talk about um, a haunted house story that I have that uh, I went and talked to someone this week about and haunted objects. And we have stories. I had an emergency uh, clearing of someone this week. And that was really uh, scary all the way around. Um, and I have photo of uh, me clearing him when he was driven up the coast. Actually, I think he ended up driving up the coast to meet me um, to get a clearing from what happened to him. He was in a mausoleum. It was really crazy. Um, I'm looking and see what else we have. Yeah, these are fun things and we have a fun um, game to play. And then, of course, prizes as always. And if you guys want us to um, have an opportunity for us to do a reading for you, um, you know, we look at love and money and things like that. And also, like a quick question, we can do that for you um, uh, as many as we can later on in the program. So you'll be able to just post a question. Um, and we will uh, look at them and we'll try to do some tonight. I've been like, oh, Andy, I've like lost my voice one day. I've been doing like eight, have eight, 10 readings a day. And I was gonna have hot tea here already and I'm like, eh, I got nothing. Um, there's like some old water <laughs> from a few days ago over that way. But um, I have been recording um, either a phone recording in person or on, on Fiverr every, just all day long, every day. I don't know what it is. I did that wealth uh, altar and I'm gonna teach it. I'm gonna do a video on how to do that because it's like, it was crazy. I put out the, the platter with all the green stuff on it and all this jazz and I had the best month last month and it's going over. It's just like very, very, very busy. Um, Either that or there's some kind of crazy full moon stuff going on. You know, people always say, what is it, Mercury retrograde? Is, is that it, you yeah. guys? Um, I don't even know where I see comments here. But, um, oh, see all comments. Okay. You know, yeah, I, like I'm proficient in this technology. Um, oh, what is it Washington's uh, warm and sunny? Well, I'm in San Diego. <laughs> Is it, it? We did get only 71 degrees here, and we've been doing the 80s. So um, 
um, it was really nice at 71, but tends to be a little cold. Right, Andy? 71, so oh, cold. Correct. Um, that's like a heat wave here in Montana. <laughs> when you like, show me it snowed, I'm going, what is that? Uh, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Mary. How are you? Um, so, um, let me see. I got a little message. Um, I've got to respond. Okay. okay. That was my son, one of my kids. They want me to get up and go downstairs and close the garage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Drive back and shut the garage, for goodness sakes. Um, anyway, um, we should probably, oh, my goodness, he's talking back to me. Okay. Oh, that's fine. He'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> if anybody gets me, it'll be on camera, right? Nobody would get me because, believe me, they'd be sorry um, because I'm that scary. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not afraid of ghosts or anything like that. Uh, hey, Pam, I never have been. I'm the one who chases the ghosts and goes after them. And like I said, my thing when the hag froze me, I was really pissed, people. <laughs> <laughs> I was climbing down to put my hand through her because I wanted to see. You know, if it was on this, can we say ghost? Can we say the name of that show? Well, you know what the show is. Where yeah. they go chasing. Ghost chasers. Let's say that. Um, grown men screaming and running. Ah, like Scooby-Doo. You know? And I'm like, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be running to them. Put your hand in. Pull the sheet off, Scooby. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get doing that at all. So, um well, let's do a story. Do we have the photos on for them to look at? I do. I just posted probably four or five photos on psychicfixes.com. Do, do you have or the message from, on on Facebook? Yeah. Psychic fixes on Facebook. So you guys yeah. can see them. Do you have the one for that uh Champy's mommy Pam um gave me a yeah. photo? Okay. You guys, this was the we can communicate with the other side communicates through all kinds of stuff. You guys know that it would be at uh, lights flickering or phones ringing or moving things, things flying, closed captioning because they've done that to me. All these different ways they communicate. Well, Andy and I have had like personal things, only that I had the good uh, text me and he had the demon. <laughs> yeah. So in my case, I'm going to explain now, is um, I had done a reading just the, the other night. I'm doing a reading last night, and I'm telling the person, no, you're not going to get together with this girl again. No, and no, and no, and no. And the only thing I have is initials AA. And I go, this is no on AA. So I finally got finished with that when the little text came in and it was uh, from my girlfriend. And so I'm trying, I'm talking back and forth because I'm taking care of her pet. And all of a sudden, um, for arrangements for the pet, she just did something uncharacteristic. She wrote no with the exclamation point. And I was like, ah, that was rude. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, and then I go, well, I'm sorry, we can, um, I'll come get him or whatever. And then it up came AA. And I go, no AA. And then came up, I did not send those texts. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just really literally closed off that reading. And I said, no, on AA for the girlfriend, AA, no AA. And here it came up. On her phone, she texted me that. And I was like, okay, Twilight Zone music now. That was weird. And so are you going to tell your story, Andy? Uh, I think I'm going to wait on that one. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Do you yeah I bet, later on? Actually, actually, no. I I will kind of talk about it. I don't have my screenshot for that one, though. So oh my gosh. 
Yeah, um, because this one is going to be in our book that I am actually finishing up right now um, with Debbie. So the little book of big evil. So that should be coming out any any day now. Well, you have to tell them it's it's a book about people's true encounters with the dark entities. And so that's always fun. We we make sure that we uh, know the people or their family members, good friends or ourselves that have uh, encountered a dark entity. And then we wrote up the story. And then we tell you about them because a lot of them are not known. Even when I was watching uh, Amy on the Dead Files, I've only seen two of them. Sorry, Amy, I've only seen two. Um, <laughs> She was talking about this one entity, and I'm like, well, I know that. And she says, I've never seen this before. And I'm like, I know what it is. And so she showed the picture, and I go, that's what it is. We have a picture of it also. So um, anyway, go ahead, Andy. I'll let you go. Anyway, with my, my experience, um, I worked with one of, well, one of my clients and my friends that I had just recently met and they had been on this uh, TV series. And what happened was we got to know each other and we started um, talking and I'll, I'll just give her her name as Nola. So Nola was, she's a friend of mine and she reached out to me for some help because she wanted to know what she could do with um, about this entity. And she's experienced quite a bit of, um, I would say, like, trauma, pretty much, from this demon and um, other entities attached to her. Uh, they weren't able to help her. She's had numerous people come into her life, like shamans and priests and all sorts of people that are, you know, um, good at this. However, um, she explained to me something that happens to her after it happened to, uh, to me. So in the course of texting with her, I got a text that said, um, I, yeah, I can, I can say the B word, can I? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, it says, um, bitch is dead. And um, I was just like, whoa, this is not even her. This is not Nola. This is not how she would talk. She's a very sweet, uh, lovable human being and a friend. And it, it, the weird thing is with this, I have never experienced a demonic text. And I knew, just intuitively, I knew it was not her. So I... Um, I think I either, I must have replied to her or spoke with her boyfriend about this. And um, it, it's it's really strange. It's like you get all these funny characters that, you know, like um, if you don't have a certain font installed, it kind of puts in weird characters in, in, in um, your text. Well, this isn't like a character. It reminds me of the old font, like Wingdings, that you used to have on Windows. And um, it just kind of gets um, spaced out. So the, the bitch is dead is all spaced out with these weird characters and special characters. Nothing you could actually type in on your phone by yourself. And the other thing with that was she checked her phone history and her text history and it does not show uh, it uh, coming out of her phone, but it shows it coming in to my phone with her number. So this has happened hundreds of times for her. I've received two of them and I know it happened. I know the reason why I got one was because I was trying to help her. And, you know, the dark side knows that. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, they do. That was just like crazy. You know, they try to interfere and scare you so that she cannot get any help. And 
you know, the terrible things that are happening to her, they want to isolate her. They don't want anyone that can protect her to even get around. So, uh, but that is amazing that you get this crazy text. Hi, Carlos. Hey, look what Cheryl just said that Jackie, oh, Jackie is home. And uh, see that? Oh, oh. Jackie uh, had her cell phone dial 911 the other day. The strange thing was that her phone was in uh, her uh, cup holder in the car. Oh, How wow. does that stuff happen? Uh oh. <laughs> that's scary especially it's 911 that's so scary um, yeah because they'll track you down too yes um, Ping you. <laughs> yeah um, you know but I get you know I used to always get the phone calls from uh, you know from hell I always got the devil the demon phone calls they're all garbles you know you're like hello and you're, you know and you're like yeah. yeah have fun in hell say hi to satan <laughs> <laughs> and then you know then i warded my house and uh once i warded my house and i was getting the nice things like the guy singing heavenly and uh you know my sister saying hi from heaven and all that stuff so uh you know then i get really good ones oh gosh you know i have no makeup on i maybe i better get back this far <laughs> i was like i had my hair up here and we're yelling oh are we ready to go on i can't i'm not ready <laughs> yeah i would just got finished uh -huh. doing some reading so that's why um anyway amazing carlos keeps seeing 111 hey that's your thing andy what's those numbers mean uh angel numbers so uh Where's quick my book? <laughs> yeah quickly um angels uh talk to us from the other side um through symbols so like numbers are symbolic uh, so if you see 111 11 11 is a very very good uh number uh if you see repeating numbers of the same or for me when i see a certain number i i know 1208 is from my mom from the other side she'll show that to me almost almost daily so and it's not that you're searching for these numbers you are actually um, just glancing and you just happen to see 111 or uh, yeah and or whatever so it just means that um, the angels or the other side is telling you you're on the right track so yeah. mine is always 909 like you guys don't know that I used to work in a jail. I work for a sheriff's department and um, 909 was my body number and 0909 was our phone number growing up. And all oh. the time I look at the clock, it's 909. And um, it went away for a while and it's back because I'll be looking and up comes something that's number 909. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I just don't know what that 909 is right yeah, um, whatever you know it's okay but we can we have to see the signs we have to look at carlos you have to look that up and we have to notice that they're giving us some kind of a message and it's all about communication with the other side so the demon text that was a good one we don't know how many times we want demons <laughs> texting us we have to say no more right and talk about the haunted house are we ready to talk about the haunted house? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. So I had someone refer me to a haunted house up north to that it needed a clearing. And I didn't have a good feeling. You know, when you have the uh, your your abdomen and gives you a little wiggle, you know, okay, I'm a, your gut feeling. I was like, okay, that's your psychic alarm. And I go, okay, um, that is, you know, giving me some kind of uh, a caution here. So I actually drove up somewhere and met with the friend of the person that owned the house. And she uh, started to talk and I just said, wait a minute, is there is there people connected to this house, women that have had, you know, like some surgeries, you know, you know, 
women's surgeries. And um, she, she just went like this and she said, I stayed over at that house. I went home and literally everything uh, went wrong and I had to have surgery. And I said, um, she said, everybody's sick there, the kids, husband, everybody. They see spirits all the time and walking down the hallways and things moving and crashing and breaking and all kinds of stuff. And uh, really, really scary. And um, I said, I, I, all of a sudden, two antique mir mirrors came at me. And I'm like, mm. okay, I'm getting two mirrors. And I, I said, so, uh, like antiques. And she said, the whole house is full of antiques. Every little square inch on the dressers, tables, counters has an antique on it. And she, I said, but mirrors? And she said, yeah. And I said, okay. Then she told me she saw a big, you know, humanoid black shadow. And that's when I said, okay, I know everything that's going on now. And so I told her and I said, um, is she willing to get rid of the antiques? Because... I, I and my team cannot go in and do her any good. It might be a Band-Aid for a few days or a week with all of that, the antiques that this big, huge house is full of. And she said, absolutely not. She won't get rid of them. And I was like, I go, she can have a really good witch go in. And I'd also get a priest go in and I would do what they can. But when you guys if if there ever is a haunted house you have to get rid of the stuff that's haunted and you have to make sure everything goes in back into portals and everything goes to heaven and all of that stuff you've cleared the energy but it doesn't mean that it's forever you have to keep that ward up we'll call it a warding up every week and they chose to ignore anything that they see and anything that's happening and I just, I really literally looked at the lady and said, they're all going to die. Mm. They're all going to be so sick. They're all going to die. This, And they're very, very sick. Very, very serious stuff going on in there. And I was just like, she's got to get rid of, um, she has to get rid of that, um, uh, all that stuff in there. But the two mirrors are the portals. And two came at me and I said, there's two mirrors that they're coming through. And so she actually has a demon and then she has what we call, what Andy and I call like a big Gumby. But those are the things that will get into the, um, well, they'll scratch and they bite and they bruise and they'll do stuff like that. But they actually will feed and make people sick. Just get into their, like, the, let's say you're their aura and we'll make them all sick. And mm -hmm. so I'm just like, I really feel for that family, but I go, I cannot bring in my team to end up being sick while they're there, which goes right into my clearing story that I just had to do. Um, Andy, uh, Jackie is messaging. So, oh, okay. Um, okay. Let okay. me get her. So she may be coming into the lobby. So okay. guys, so guys, um, I can't have my team go in there because not only will it, could they be overcome there, but then um, they, you know, we're very careful about taking anything home with us. But this is a very strong stuff going on in this house. Not only are you, you may have a demon, you've got this other big Gumby guy, and then you have this energy in all of the uh, rooms and every inch in these um, antiques. So you just cannot, you know, uh, afford the risk of doing that. And I feel like if they had a really strong uh, witch, she could help, a priest could help, but it's going to be just temporary. Because where and I think wherever the lady goes, it's that stuff's gonna go with her. And so one one thing is she gave up three of the antiques to someone because her husband wanted her to give them up uh, because there's so many. But she ended up calling and she told the person bring them back. I have to have them. <laughs> yeah. So we know that the energy's going bring me back get me back you know very mm -hmm. controlling thing going on there so that was scary let's say hi jackie hi hey, jackie. Jackie. hi How guys are you? i'm good i 
just walked in through the door. I just got off work. So oh, thank you for joining us. So Jackie no is our broadcast wizard. <laughs> and we love having her here. She'll help us with uh you're gonna love the game we have. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it is yet, but the game's gonna be a lot of fun and Jackie will help with that. Um <laughs> but uh, let me segue and I'm sorry I'm hogging all of this, Andy, but it's gonna go right oh, into no. what happened. So this uh I just got a call that um, a friend of mine, uh, the girlfriend, messaged and said that there's been an incident at the mausoleum. So they were in a three-story mausoleum, and um, her boyfriend just got overcome by this energy. Now, he knows what it's like because here was a complete skeptic, and he came and he filmed um, me and my team in a four-story theater. And the energy, the entity went through him. So he knows what that's like. Well, so he came, got overcome with something. And I said, you know, always I carry a space blanket with me when I go anywhere on, on anything because you have to warm the person up and give them water. So uh, I told her to do that. They got in the car and I said, say this prayer while you're driving because I don't want anything to come to my house or go with you and then I want you to do this other thing so they did and I prepared my son Steve and I prepared everything for them and so when they drove up to the house I was out at the door with my tuning fork and then I was clearing him and as fast as I could and that car and brought him in and through my house and then to the backyard so the picture of me smudging him is andy put it on the on the fan page okay psychic so fixes fan page so i mean we just rushed out and now you can go and get holy water i also have dill weed water very strong protective uh water so i we filled the bottle for him and we labeled that and I sprayed crosses around him with that and then gave it to him to take home. And I smudged him really good with the smoke. And then we had gave them St. Benedict's medals, which I consecrated. And the water was consecrated so that they could wear that with them. And then I took a sash, made a sachet so they could take it in the car of my Wiccan stuff. And then a bottle that they could take home. And all they have to do is unscrew it and leave it out. So, um, a picture, a smudging. Oh, you wrote that. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, so here we have, you know, clearing. He's cleared. He was much better. He was good. And then they, they left. And so, you know, you can't take it lightly. It's fun to go to haunted houses. People think, oh, we're fun. We're going to have fun. We're going to scare ourselves. It's so much fun. But really, there's more to it. Absolutely. So um, anyway, that is the haunted house thing. What other picture did we put up out on online? So we had your text with the 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 no a a, mm -hmm. which okay. Now the next um, the next things that I found interesting, and I did a little bit of research on three different haunted paintings. So um, the first one is called the Ang the Anguished Man, and this is like a picture. It's a creepy looking picture, you guys. It it really looks gross. Um, this young man named Sean Robinson, and this is all public domain. Uh, his grandma passed away, and then he inherited a painting that had been in the attic, her attic for. I don't know, 25 years or so. And um, so she told her grandson that she insisted that it was evil. And he's like, yeah, whatever. You know, my grandma's crazy. Um, after <laughs> <laughs> after he, he found out the history behind it, and apparently the man that... Um, or whoever it was, they don't really truly know who actually painted it. But the man that painted it, I, I feel like it's a man. He had painted it with oil painting, mixed it with his blood, and then shortly after committed suicide. So um, it's, yeah, it's pretty gory. Um, wow. Nuts. The guy yeah. is crazy. 
they've heard uh, my an anguish. What's that? What was the name of it? It's called the anguished man. The anguished man. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the other one I I find just fascinating. This hit really, really strong in early two thousand on eBay. And it was, you know, when eBay was first new as an auction site. Yeah. Well, this artist, Phil Stone, from 1972, painted this painting with a little, uh, it's a female doll with a young, I don't know, probably six-year-old little boy. But he's got kind of like, it looks like he doesn't have a soul. And oh, wow. um, they're standing in front of a window it, where there's um, hands kind of through the window panes or on the outside of it, his, it's called the hands resist him. So there's a picture posted on the fan page on that. If everybody wants to just, you know, take a look at that when you have time. But what I found interesting with this is it's only was famous for being haunted after it was described that way on eBay. And then it was sold to an art gallery for a thousand twenty-five bucks, and then um, the original, the the owner of the art gallery and the art critic that were in contact with this painting died within a year of owning it. So, and then it's most mm -hmm. likely switched hands. But um, the artist has now made sequels and a prequel to the painting. So it's very unusual. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> That's oh, wow. I took yeah. some cards just to look at the anguish picture. I just kind of, I don't want to bring the guy back in, you know, right. <laughs> I know. Right. but I do feel mm. like he, he was so overwhelmed in life that he really just broke. It was too, life was just too much for that man. He had the hangman card too, so you know mm -hmm. I think that he was just getting his pain out and everything about his broken life, and it was his fears too because I have that. And um, funny, I kind of get that maybe he didn't want anybody to see that picture. Mm. I do. I get. Right. I feel I, I've got, I just feel like I, he has a seven of swords. I just feel like he just like didn't want anybody to see him. He didn't want to know that was him, mm -hmm. but he is just, he, he broke. He had just too much on him, too much responsibility. And, and he showed his fears and what he was going through. So, oh, woo. and then I had one more just real quick. I, there's not much of a history to it because I think he's pretty, <laughs> Famous, well, my generation. I don't know about anybody really anybody younger. Like uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, I don't. He could have been. Um, no, it, it was a painting by John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer. Well, oh. he, I know that name. Yeah, most most of us will know this, unless maybe you're. Living under he, a rock. Yeah. Or really young, you know. Yeah. He, uh, he painted the painting Pogo the Clown. And mm -hmm. there's a picture of that. And we, now this is kind of, this is actually unusual. Um, a friend of mine is an artist that I used to work with. And one of my coworkers that I used to work with wanted a replica of this exact same painting which I found interesting. Now, I don't know if she's experienced anything, but there's been reports of people that have owned the original artwork. Um, they end up dying. And Johnny oh. Depp, he owned a replica of this and he ended up getting rid of it due to the fact that nobody wanted to be in the same room as the painting. So um, that's a little bit on that. It's so just, we have those pictures are on the fan page if anybody yeah. wants to know what we're looking at. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? People get this fascination again. They think it's fun. I'd love to have a haunted object, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Andy, whoa, whoa. Andy Do you have something haunted in, in your house? Well, I don't know if 
they say, let me go if he grab gets it. Up, if that clown gets up and starts <laughs> singing. <laughs> well, we'll see, because there's... Uh, yeah, let me, let me grab the creepy one where the eyes have fallen in. <laughs> oh, my yeah, goodness. He's, oh, he's, you know, he is, you know, has a hearses, and he's He's interested in this stuff, but you got to be careful with that stuff. So, there you go. We'll put it up oh, a little bit. Yeah, you got to put it up just a little bit. Oh, oh, the poor thing. He doesn't it's, scare me. He's supposed yeah. to be haunted? Yeah, apparently. What is he really? supposed to do? I I don't know. I, you maybe... bought it without knowing what his gift is? His talent. I probably, I probably <laughs> knew there was something, but I don't remember now. I've had it for quite a long time, but it's old. This thing is. Where's old. your holy water? Just Where's your case. holy water? <laughs> oh, right here, Debbie. It's I not that it. far away from got, from it. I've got the spray oh, bottle. Oh, that's what oh. I say. Put it in a spray bottle, a big one. And yeah. I had all of the I'm spraying a cat. <laughs> Yeah, and we have Archangel Michael here. Okay, sitting on him. Right no, there. I don't get it. I don't get anything uh, for that clown. Yeah. He, he's probably fine. He just well, doesn't have. He can't see a thing. He's got a <laughs> chain for a smile. He's got a chain for a well. while. I think somebody had an old doll and they got some glue and they said, let's put it on let's eBay go. for a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think I, I don't even know what I paid, probably 25 or something, something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Did you have any more haunted objects? Mm, no. Not, not that no. he can think of right now. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Uh, see, see, he's finding more. No, just that's, a, that's <laughs> it's the it's wolf not, man coin it's bank. bank. It's not haunted. <laughs> I just I found it and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. I like the old Holly, Hollywood horror movies. So, mm -hmm. well, yeah. are we? If we're going to be in a contest, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even put yours fully in the screen. <laughs> I win. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, we're going to play a game. It's going to be fun. You guys also, um, uh, and I should be watching the comments, but I'm not. Um, oh, Pam doesn't want to be around any of it. Um Hey, these are just things where um, uh, when we're around the real stuff, you know, that's kind of live. That's crazy. Uh, we want to play a game now. Can we play just for a little bit? Mm -hmm. I, okay. This is going to be fun, Jackie. Jackie, you got to help us. You got to be. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I'm always here to help. Uh, if you, you, Jackie, you can see the comments, though, right? Yeah, I have a computer and an iPad. Okay. <laughs> going at the same time. This is called Your Celebrity Crush. We've got to get it so we say it at once. <laughs> so I do, I used to do a lot of readings for people on their real crushes and say, forget it <laughs> or go after him. It's good. It's going to happen or never. And um, so we kind of played last night, Andy and I, on um, a celebrity crush. <laughs> yep. I'm going to do a reading. Um, to see how compatible you are with your celebrity crush. So, you guys, if you got a crush, I want you to type their names. I, I hope I find one that a person I really know uh, <laughs> who this celebrity is. I've been out of it. Um, uh, so, go ahead and type in a celebrity name. And let me do a reading to see if you guys are compatible. I think that'll be fun. We are going to have the prize giveaway, too. And I, hopefully everybody got their prizes from last time. They were all sent off. And I posted that in the thing. So um, also, if you have a question for a reading, we're going to have to start readings pretty soon to get them in. And um, let's see, quickly. Uh, Andy, you want to talk about the specials that we're uh, getting ready yeah. to put up? 
And yep. that will be uh, starting next, uh, first one will be in May. Yep. Uh, first special here, I'm just taking a quick look here. Um, it looks like, okay, so offering mediumship, uh, tarot readings, um, many ways of uh, manifesting book. Uh, so we have like, let's, I want to say like four package deals that we're going to be offering. Um, but only one per month. So we're going to kind of mix it up uh, a little bit here. So I want to say, um, you know, we're going to be doing like in-person readings, possibly here uh, one hour long. And we're going to have limits on, on these. So, you know, normally we would charge uh, what we would normally charge uh, our fees and stuff. And uh, to the regular public and how we do our readings. Um, but with our specials, we want to, you know, give you guys a break, give you a little extra value in that. So more than likely half price than what we would normally do. So. Yeah. So we're at, uh, every month, the first, um, probably the first show that we do of the month, we're going to run a special. It's going to be very limited to four or five people. And, um, and, um, and then there'll be a time limit on it. Just, you know, kind of for fun and to get back, but it's going to be, uh, probably always 50% off. So, and we'll maybe send out products and stuff. It'll be fun. Why does Cheryl have LL Cool J? <laughs> I was oh, laughing wow. at that. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading all <laughs> of them. It, it must be because we watch them on lip sync battle all the time. So, um, so far I have N Liam Neeson for yep. Pam, LL Cool J for Cheryl and Diane Lane for Kendra. And, and you guys Shamari, can or Shamari Moore. Oh, Audrey, yeah, Shamar Moore. He's the, um, wasn't he on Dean's Live? Or... Criminal Minds. There we go. That's what it is. Oh. Yes. We're going to have to research the celebrities. because I know what he looks like. He does the Ellen show all the time. He's like the constant Audrey. fill in when there's when nobody will go to her show. He's always there. He's got like the baby girl line clothing. That's what he calls his female fans, baby girls. Oh, so we have, um, oh, yes, it is morning in Asia. And I think it's, I hopefully we're saying you. I'm so glad. Yeah, I was expecting you. Look at how pretty she is. Look at that profile oh, picture. Yes. It's a little doll. She's so cute. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. I, this is probably enough for me to do real quickly and see. Uh, Cheryl, I got to do LL Cool J for you, okay? <laughs> so, oh, now, now, now somebody put Dwayne Johnson, you know, The Rock. Can I put him <laughs> down too? Can we do two of those? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, he just became a daddy. Okay. So um, go ahead and talk for a minute until I get my cards out, okay, you guys? Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I'm ex excited about the specials that you talked about earlier, Andy. That's, yeah. I feel like we're going to get a lot of people, you know, people's attention because who doesn't want a cheaper reading? <laughs> yeah, a cheaper reading, and then you get a little extra stuff, bonuses with it. And, um, and you know, it's just a, I don't know, it, it's just a great thing. Um, I, I love, me personally, I love doing phone readings now. I'm more comfortable with doing that. Um, Debbie's got a lot of years of experience, so she's been doing this many years. Years. Um, <laughs> yeah, she has. Uh, for me, I've been doing phone readings maybe a year. And, you know, the one thing I do want to kind of mention, too, though, is anybody that's watching or has never had a reading – do know that you don't have to be in person to get a reading done. It, it, there's no time or space when it comes to connecting to energy with another person. So um, the how I personally connect could be different than how Jackie connects or how Debbie connects or how you yourself connect if you're intuitive. Um, for me, I, 
I like to get a first name. If it's a business, I would like to get the name of the business. I don't need to know, like, really the whole story behind it. Uh, maybe the first name of the other person, if it's a relationship reading. But that's how we, we can connect over the phone. We can connect just through text, just by um, somebody wanting a reading on somebody else, even. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be in person. Okay, so. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> okay, let's Cheryl, this is for you, Cheryl. L O Cool J Cheryl, You be yes, so it. crazy rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you'd be so rich. Uh, but you'd be responsible with that money. Um, <laughs> I do feel like there's a trust issue and <laughs> a lot of court appearances. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and some fights. And, but you're ambitious. And I do feel like you'd have fond romantic memories of the past, which means it's over soon. I'm so sorry it didn't oh, last. It's not. No, but knowing him gives you a possible <laughs> career offer. <laughs> so he's a connection no, romance is what you're telling her. <laughs> But the money was good for a minute. It was really, really good. Uh, Compatibility, it's just really like fast. It's a fast relationship. We won't call it one night stand, but it's pretty fast. Right. The money was good. Uh, that was funny. Okay, let, okay, let's do um, Diane Lane and Ken, uh, for Kendra. Okay? So you guys can... Find something awkwardly to talk about. <laughs> well, last week, I, I know, Andy, you weren't here, but me and Aunt Debbie, we were talking about, like, weird things that happen, whether they're good or evil. And, like, if your phone rings, you know, and you get, like, the no or a yes, and it could be, you know, a demon or not. So the other day we were in my car. My mom was actually driving, and I put my phone in the cup holder, and they dialed 911. It was the strangest thing ever uh -huh. because we had just talked about all this stuff and my phone, I've never heard my phone. It was like beeping and I was like, what is that noise? And I looked down and it's like, I'm like, wait, why are we calling 911? I'm not in danger. <laughs> I mean, unless they're trying to tell me my mom's trying to do something, which I highly doubt. But uh -huh. I looked at my phone and I'm trying to end the call and it's like 10 seconds to make sure you end the call. And I was like, no, I really want to end this call. I didn't think this <laughs> right. is not meant to be. <laughs> but that was the strangest <laughs> thing that happened. <laughs> oh. That was weird. Yeah. Um, okay, I am ready. So, uh, Kendra, you guys are soulmates. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, I think you're super compatible. I get loving and kind and romantic people here. I feel compassionate. Um, I get psychic. I love it. Um, I do feel like um, it's kind of meant to be because I have the judgment card. Um, I feel like it would be a challenge. Absolutely. Um, and also, um, I feel like yeah, to come, money is good. Look at that. These people have money. I love it. I feel like going in the right direction. I feel like being able to travel the world and fulfill all your desires and all your dreams will come true. <laughs> and I feel like your house is going to be awesome. <laughs> awesome house. So there you go. I would give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's still married to Josh Brolin. Doesn't matter. They're compatible. <laughs> yeah. Could they so be mean. compatible best friends maybe or something? Um, you know, in another life. <laughs> no, I, I love it. That was funny. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Liam Neeson and here you guys get to go talk about something else. Liam Neeson. Oh, he he's the guy that does all the taken, you know, that yeah. I don't know who you are or where you're blah blah blah, but I will find <laughs> you, you know, that Wait a minute, wasn't he he was in a haunted haunted something. Remember yes. they went to a, like a castle and he was the ghost? Do you guys remember that? I kind of do. I, I 
Adele. God, he was so gross. <laughs> Hi, Jinx. Or... I, I don't know. Somebody Google it. Somebody, somebody the, Google you it. You said it's a ghost <laughs> movie? It was a haunted Please. castle movie. Go, I am. Oh, like. Hmm. Liam Neeson. Now huh? it's gonna bother her until we figure out what movie. What the movie is. You guys just go online and. Look at <laughs> I'm going on I wiki Neeson. right now. I know it was him. I know. Okay. Pam and. Liam. Oh, it's the haunting. Is that what? No, it is? wasn't. Uh, yeah, starring Liam Neeson, Catherine oh, Zeta Jones. No, it was yeah. a different one. 1999. Let's see. It was old. Peter O'Toole was in it, wasn't he? Yeah. One with I'll Peter O'Toole. Along. God, maybe I got it wrong. Uh, no, I guess. I don't know. Hi. Can anybody think of this? Can anybody think No, of Carlos. <laughs> okay. Pam and Liam. Hi, Spirits. Yes, you oh, win. Spirit. You win. You win a free I love reading, that Andy. Show. You haven't seen that show? That's a yeah. I I watched that when year? I was a little kid. Nineteen eighty-eight. You were a little kid. Yeah. I had an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Liam Neeson was Scottish. I didn't think. Is he really Irish? Somebody huh. said he's Irish. For some yeah. really weird reason, really? I thought he was like Scottish or something like that. Um, well, yeah, holy smokes, he's been in a, a lot of movies and TV shows. Uh, he also got the tower. Uh oh, <laughs> this is not a good thing. Oh no, we got paranormal activity. We got the tower. <laughs> Holy cow. So I get the older the older male for Liam. <laughs> um, um I feel like there is money there. It's an investment to be with him. And he's very talented. And I feel like um so for him I get weird things that happen at night. Ooh. I get like unexpected spooky stuff that happens. Ooh. I get um, ooh, the hangman. You got give up Liam. It's not worth it. His and wife is going to haunt you in the relationship. His wife is taking all the money. <laughs> yeah, no. At the beginning, there's a little love. It's um, I'm sorry, it's sex, and then. <laughs> And then it goes to hell in a handbasket because we do not want the moon and this strange thing. And we do not want crazy things happening in the house. So, no, it's a no on Liam. Mm -mm. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, Pam, you have everything but the devil and like That's the right. three of swords. And, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Uh, um, you guys, um, Jackie, can you watch for anybody uh, that wants a regular reading? Yes, yeah. we'll have a little bit of time to do regular readings. Let's see. I, do we want to do one more? Do I want to do this, Shimar and Audrey? Sh well, well, I know Audrey mm -hmm. had another question. Um, oh, okay. She actually wanted an actual reading. She wanted to know if she got anything from, um, you know, any messages from Scott. That's her husband that recently passed away. That was, I called him Uncle Scott. Um, okay, so this is Audrey? Yeah, this this is Audrey. What's her last? Williams. Emma Williams. Um, Andy, since you are the medium medium, let's, can you kind of try to get, uh, and who is it that we're getting a, a message from? His name is Scott. Scott. He, he, okay, yes. Scott. All right, okay. Jackie, it's up to you now. You talk, oh, and we're going to see what we get. I have the, the world on my shoulders now. This is great. Let's see if anybody else has. You guys, if you want a regular reading, make sure you put it down in the comments for them. Um, I know last week we, we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, that's funny. Pam, you, you did say he, you were right. He's Irish. He, I, I was wrong. He was not Scottish. I must be thinking of a different actor. And then, yeah, he, he was married. Um, that's crazy. That's 
that Pam, your reading was really interesting with Liam Liam Neeson. You know, everybody got all the celebrities. Was pretty funny too. Everybody everybody got money at the, <laughs> all the relationships and travels. So that's always always fun. That that was a really good game idea. I I hope we get to do that more often too. That celebrity game. See what then then I get to know everybody's celebrities crushes. Look, see, look them up and see see what they do. Look at these two hard at work over here. Mm. I'm excited to see what they're going to say. <laughs> so, I'm I'm trying to tune into Scott and what what I get and Audrey. I don't know um, much, which is fine um, because I I just want to be able to get give you what I can. Uh, I feel like um, Scott was like your partner or a husband um, that passed over. Um, I, I see him as, I see him as a, a slender man. Um, and then I pulled a few cards on him. And what I, what I did get is I didn't get the marriage card. So from what the tarot is telling me is that there was uh, there was some happiness there, but also there were some struggles and some challenges with um, uh, with him, and also like a sense of loss and regret. So he must there, there's a sense of like leaving you behind, or um, uh, he feels like he uh, abandoned you. So uh, I, I'm not sure if you can take that message or not, but. I feel like he's he's saying he's sorry that he abandoned you, um, and also um, his transition was very slow. So, um, what I get is that it was a hard it was hard for him to move on or hard to leave your side. Um, so that's what what I'm getting is that I feel as if he has transitioned into the light. He's crossed over. So he's not earthbound. He's not, but it took him a while to get there because of um, him wanting to be around you and and a little bit of fear of crossing over. So, but there's so much love there for you. So, I hope that helps. So what I have, um, Audrey, is I have you waiting for some results, kind of just on a waiting thing here. Crossing and temporary energy is the healing and telling me healing and you're going in the right direction. I feel like in the past you've been very responsible. And I feel like he's going to give you, make sure that you get something that you really want in the future, okay? I feel like I'm very stressed out for you i feel like you're lying and wait to see what's going to happen next um i'm getting a severing ties so i feel like you have to sever ties with something and be done with it and i'm getting hermit card which means if you need to talk to someone you need to seek them out and definitely this is getting advice and counsel be it professional or just some good friends especially if you have to make some uh uh, decisions. You can make your own, but you need to talk to somebody about this. I'm um, getting the strength card where he's saying, face your fears, pull up your bootstraps and be strong and be fierce. Um, I feel like maybe you think that your hands are tied and there's nothing you can do and it's out of your control and you need to break, break those and binds and go forward. You cannot stay stuck in one place. And, um, I know that you don't trust what's going to happen in the future, but definitely he's working his magic on the other side to get you something that you, you wish and make your wish come true. Okay. So that's what I have. Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. Well, without giving too much away, and I know you guys really, that was so on point with everything you guys said. Um, okay. Yeah, so. we don't want to give too much. It'd be up to Audrey if she wants any of that yeah, validated. So and she can, Audrey, you can write it if you want. But that's what I have. Does anybody else ask for a reading? Because oh, this hour goes so fast. Yeah, what I is know. that? Uh, Audrey like just five said, minutes. Yeah, she just said thank you so much. You're welcome, Audrey. Um, let's see. 
Anything? I don't see any other major questions. I think you threw everybody off with the celebrities. A celebrity. Yeah. Your celebrity crush. That was have, funny. We have to get some music in this clappy Debbie, audience music. Debbie well, and Jackie, we're going to have to do yours at some point. <laughs> These celebrity <laughs> crushes, because mine was Andy Cohen, and I, I knew... Funny. When you did it, and I'm like, yeah, he's going to cheat on me because he likes <laughs> younger men. <laughs> so. I don't know about my – well, I'm only obsessed with one, one celebrity. That's it. You're not going to tell us who? I'm obsessed with Bruno Mars, which is hilarious because oh. I just Jackie love – Jackie and Bruno. <laughs> it's funny because okay. any- Anytime I see his picture, my mom does or my friends do, they send me pictures. And I'm like, look, it's your husband. He's cheating on <laughs> you with his real life girlfriend. And I'm like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay. I'll take some cards. Jackie and Bruno. You guys have to talk. <laughs> Bruno, how long has that crush been going on? Since he first came out with the very first album, Unorthodox mm-hmm. Jew. Well, no, it was uh, The Hooligans. Was the first oh. album, and then Unorthodox Jukebox. I'm I'm obsessed with them. I like like every time his albums come out, I'm like I need to uh-huh. listen to the whole thing. <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> a long time. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, it's not my fault that you know I'm obsessed with somebody that is really good with music. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to have to do the sweepstakes next, so <laughs> we'll have to, everybody, oh, Jackie, when you get a minute, put a number down, or Andy, uh, this this is for Jackie, so Andy, put a number Andy down. Andy gets to do the number Hello of the sweepstakes. Hello from Oz, it's, it's Liz, the Liz of Oz. <laughs> the Liz of Oz. <laughs> that's not right, I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, oh, wow. Bruno, it's way too much work for you. It's I too knew, much responsibility. Knew that. Oh, no. You're just not going to do well no. with that. That's not good energy crossing. He's too busy for me. No, actually, you guys would work really well together in a job. That would be a lot better. I'm but okay with that. Because of this disappointment, it is better if, for you in the future. But I just feel like you might be, like, ready for fights. I know. I know it doesn't seem like him, <laughs> but you'd be friggin' fighting with him. Uh, but the house is nice. And comfortable, and you have a lot of supportive women there too. But you're gonna have to just go leave him and go on your own and use your wishes <laughs> and go off on your own a clean slate, a fresh start, a wonderful beginning with Bruno. It's fun, uh, but because you need a new, a whole new <laughs> change of life and lifestyle. And then ahead of you will be the big choices in life. <laughs> so um, guess what? You have to leave Bruno. Sorry. Okay. I didn't know I was coming it's, to get my okay. dreams crushed today. I've been looking for inspiration from above because it's positive for the future for you. But <laughs> bye, Bruno. He's just too much. What do you call it when they're just like, you know, too much work? Prima donnas or whatever. Divas. Prima donnas. Divas. Yeah. divas. Well, I don't know. Diva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too much, too much work for you. No, 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 no. So it's a no to Bruno. Let's go ahead and give away a prize. Everybody make sure you put down your numbers in the comments so we can see. From one to 100. Yes. No, and Andy, no. I hope you wrote down a number. I did. Okay. And we'll wait and we'll get those uh, things. Can, I can't believe this went so fast. That's crazy. Do I Did I say everything I wanted to say? <laughs> haunted this, haunted that, emergency clearing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, we, didn't, we didn't do a sponsor. Uh, I should have had uh, uh, Checkered Lily Apothecary, a shout out to them. I should have had their link. Uh, does great makeup. Jackie's wore their I've makeup. Worn her She's- makeup, yes. Yep, and great makeup, and she's been on BuzzFeed, and um, she is on Etsy, has an Etsy store. The checkered, it's not, it's funny spelling, C-H-E-Q-U-E-R. You have her tagged on your page, though, 
Um, I know she she sponsored another video of ours, and you had shared her link. Um, yeah, but she. I was going to have it now. But um, oh, we got numbers coming up. Yay. Yeah, I was going to say I got ninety two from my mom, and then we got Liz saying, "Do you three? Do you crazy three do? Re- I don't do readings, Liz. I I hate to." crush your dreams like aunt debbie crushed mine with bruno mars (laughs) but aunt debbie and andy do the readings i'm just the funny goofy one that makes things awkward or turns really red on the camera (laughs) oh Um, carlos i'm so sorry i didn't get Dwayne. tell me next time and i'll do it just say you said i you were going to do the Dwayne johnson and me yeah let's see pam put 33 carlos did seven Brandy did 40, 48, Liz did three, Misty D did 44. So those are all our numbers. Okay. Oh. And I have my number. So I was wondering, do we go with who the closest is? Below yeah. or above? No, closest. Why? Are they in the middle? <laughs> is there somebody in the middle? No. I didn't write them down, so I don't know. I think... We have a winner. I was going to say, we, we needed Steve Ho- Stephen Hawking and Spirit to do the math. <laughs> but I tell you what, the, the people that are, there's a couple of us that, um, sorry, I can hear myself talk. <laughs> I know I have to take out one of my, my headphones. Um, there's a couple of people that tuned into the two numbers I was gonna go with that I wasn't sure of and then I combined them so the number is 37 37 so it looks like we have Pam Pam. Milligan yeah 33 she got 33 yeah yeah congrats Pam yeah Um, Uh, Pam go ahead and private message uh uh, me or on Psychic Fixes with your address, and I'll send you out a prize. We'll figure it out. Look at how nice Cheryl goes. Pam, yay. <laughs> we're just such a good, we're happy for everybody here. Even if their crushes were, they're crushed by their crushes. We won't, we won't bring that up anymore. <laughs> I won't bring it up at family functions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey. Look at we're gonna try to be on Wednesday night, you guys. You're welcome, Pam. Um, we're gonna be working on that this weekend to go live um hopefully on YouTube. And it's gonna be a whole different show. It's gonna be very different, but uh we're gonna be working um doing our psychic business and you guys get to watch and we'll answer your questions and we'll probably do a reading. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. We're going to have some really interesting guests. I hope to have, is it Kevin Lee? Kevin? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Was that a save? He, he's been messaging. <laughs> I've been in communication with him. And he has done a book, I think, on the spirits, painting, and writing. But it's not like automatic writing. There's no hand that's painting. I got to know about that. So we're going to have some guests. Hmm. I think we're going to try to get somebody from the Dead Talk to be on that first show and talk about all the interesting things in the cemeteries and the house ha- and the haunted houses that they um, uh, experienced. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun um, having guests on and having a whole different format. Now this is fun because Annie and I and Cheryl are having a good time. We Wait, get to my talk name's Cheryl? Cheryl? Cheryl. Oh my God, <laughs> Jackie. You know what? It's mother and daughter and they're both my nieces. I know so, I look a uh, lot like her. I just Cheryl, you want to work? <laughs> I'll put you to work. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, a- Andy and um, Jackie and I <laughs> get to just really talk to you and have a lot of fun and all of that. So we're going to continue to do that. But Wednesdays is going to be really different and really fun. And if you ever wondered what it's like to actually – uh, look for missing person. If we're on Wednesday, I'm actually going to be doing it. And I'm going to ask Andy also to tune in during that uh, 
that time and let's see if we can't find out where that person is. I'm going to have a, a map and we're going to see if we can do it. And so, um, and give the family some answers. So any, if we're working on a homicide or doing anything like that, we're going to actually going to be doing it on camera. And um, so I think it's going to be really, really interesting to do that. So uh, last words, Ash, uh, I was almost saying Cheryl. <laughs> you got me stuck on it. Jackie. It's because she was commenting all night. Being she, all the, night. Her name was up there with the big emoticon. What can I do? <laughs> okay, Jackie, anything? There anything? she is again. I see her. Don't you see her? <laughs> yes. I keep saying, we get it. You want attention. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, well, let's see. You guys already know I, I love doing this stuff with you. I love just commenting and um, also saying what I've experienced. So I'm looking forward to see, you know, the other fun things that are going to happen and how things are going to work out and the different ways of doing it. Uh, so I really hope everybody tunes in into YouTube as well as much as this, because we have a lot of fun here. Just imagine mm -hmm. you'll get twice as fun. <laughs> so Interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, Andy. Well, I am excited. I'm very excited for the, the psychic life and the YouTube platform. I've never worked with YouTube as much. I've always been the viewer and watch documentaries and stuff, but um, this will be a new experience for, uh, I, th I think, all three of us, really, mm -hmm. for you too, Jackie. Um, I don't know. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of views on my videos. Yes. I, <laughs> yes. I mean, with the, the going live oh piece. Yeah, yeah. but but yeah. Debbie's got, oh, wow, you have over, what, 40,000 views on that salt um, video? Uh, almost 50,000. 50, wow. Yeah. yeah, so. Lots um, of videos on there. You go to Psychic Fixes on YouTube and you can see them. And that's where we posting these Friday um, these Friday uh, shows if you want broadcasts. If you want to go see yourself, you're on YouTube, guys. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Guess it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, Andy needs uh -huh. to walk us through his little wave thing again. The elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Uh huh. Wipe a tear, blow a kiss. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you for coming. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.